going to give our sweet Queen Elsa a little makeover. I start by removing all of this beautiful Queen Elsa makeup because we will need a new fresh base for this full face paint. Covering my brows with the Elmer's glue stick because we won't need any brows today and I will be using some prosthetics on top of them so best to protect them. After using a little spatula to push them back I'm also adding a little bit of powder on top to really set everything. Once these are set and fully covered, it's time to pull out the prosthetics. I made these cute little horns out of silicone. I made a couple of these in different shapes and sizes and I'm attaching them with prosade. First a little layer on my skin and a little layer on the prosthetic itself. Give it a nice push all around to make sure all the edges are covered. And then we can start blending the edges away with a little bit of alcohol because I use Super Baldies as a encapsulator. This is the most fun part. So once everything is blended in, you can add a little bit of prosade on the edges to make it blend in even more. And I'm also adding a little bit of prosade on places where I'm gonna add some more horns. Like I said, a little bit of prosade on the edges will make it blend in seamlessly. I'm applying a final set of horns at the base of my neck. These look like little nipples, but they are not. Mix a little bit of setting powder with prosade to hide the edges a little bit more. And while these are drying, I'm removing the final edges of the horns. So now that we're done with the prosthetic part, I move on by layering down a grey base for the makeup. I mixed a little bit of blue, white and grey because I really wanted him, her, oops, as you have a little bit of bluish coming through. So here I'm just layering down the base all over, but it doesn't have to be perfect because we're covering it with lots of uh, texture paints. The paint started to dry a little bit more grayish than I expected, but it's fine, it's just the base. Here I'm adding a little bit of black splatter to break up the grayish, and I also put a base of black on my eyes to give it the really sunken look. So going in with white on the highest points. And for the basic design of the white walker, I just used a reference photo that I found on the internet. So here I'm just painting the structures and details as it looks on the reference picture that I found. It's a bit time consuming, but remember at this point it doesn't have to be perfect yet. We're just mapping out design. I'm using a black face paint, a creamy one, one that blends in easily. Here's me doing a little dance to keep up the morale. I know we always say trust the process, but in this case it really was trust the process because in the middle this looks like shit. Here I'm just using a little bit of black and grey eyeshadow to create depth where needed. And then I just continued the stripy pattern all the way, all the way down the neck as well. And I'm just slowly building it up. I just kept going back and forth with lighter colors, darker colors. So we really get that 3D effect of the texture. Just keep looking at your reference picture and you'll get there eventually. So here she is, the Night Queen. I know this is a far-fetched version of the Twisted Disney series, but hey. Really hope you like this one, guys, and let me know in the comments what you think. Bye! -bye.